What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. He's down. Just, uh, hey, down the path there? again. And this dude and right me. here. Great. He's wanting to fight. Okay, yeah. two can play at that game. Yeah, and attack from the top to the right. Oop, that missed. And now, oop, dang it. I'm just gonna, you know, stab him. And again. Alright, now I can loot him. I don't think any of this is gonna be better than what I already have. Um, oh yeah, you can see your feet and stuff if you look down. Anyways, I decided that the way in was going to be around this way, and looks like I was right. Yep. I think that's where they came in from when they attacked it first. Anyways. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of drop in frames. And sheathe my sword. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Didn't bring that. mean to bring out the light. Just trying to... Shard. Dried fruit and a groschen. A uh, shard, though. Wait, what would I need that for? Not sure. And, um, I did, uh, a tiny bit of, uh, gameplay watching. And apparently that woman that, um, we could have saved on our way out just before we jumped on a horse... Well, actually, never mind. That's getting into spoiler territory. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon them like me. Okay. Here, no one got a pretzel. All right. Now, here is where the fun begins. Am I missing something? Oh. What the? That's a... Is that a... Is that a horse too? Did they just pile up a bunch of horses? There's mother and father. Apparently Bianca didn't make it out either. I'm pretty much the only one that did. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. The one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Well, we found them. Find a spade. Okay. I just want to say, the cutscenes are pretty good, and you know... Should I? Nah. Anyways, it said find a shovel, and then it 
the camera sort of panned over here in this direction. So I'm assuming that there might be one over here. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. I hear a dog. Okay, so I got another. To remember you, boy. I'll do it. Wait, I'm approaching it, I think. Getting closer. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's coming from over here. This way. Let me see if I can't find it. I may have to fight the dog. But, um, is this the tavern? Wait, what just happened? Oh. Get away, you must. That's what happened. So, I was supposed to find the dog. Who is this guy? Get away, you beast! What's going on? He just completely turns his... God's name, you did it. What do you think I'm looking at? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I need that shovel, actually. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Trying to burn my... Burn? Oh no, that's not what I I asked meant. what you're doing here. How about you give me an answer? If I want to confess, I'll go to the priest. Go away and leave me in peace. Okay. What happened to Teresa? That's the girl that, um, got away. Or, not got away. Do you know what happened to Teresa in the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. It's not wrong about uh, taking care well, of himself. Me that I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it? Huh. <laughs> uh, Bye. I'll take the spade and you can have the sword. You can have it right up your ass. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. Suits me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Uh. That's right. Turn tail and run, you bastard. I didn't even mean to do that either. That was an accident. Bloody. Easy, you know me. I'm not gonna take much from him. <laughs> take all the groschen. Thank you. Alright, sorry buddy, but you know. Gotta take care of myself out here, you know? He, he doesn't understand. Dig a grave for your parents, parents under the linden tree. Alright. Looks like I get to return home, then. Back up to the place we started the game. Remember that? That wasn't too long ago, actually. It's quite recent. You know, this all happened over the course of, like, two days. This entire game so far. And it's honestly been kind of hard to figure out. In which I think is kind of interesting, because, like I said, there's many ways to do everything... And not everyone's going to try to do it the same way. Wait. What was my house? This? Yes, this. Oh, alright. Gonna dig. This is a good place. 
You're gonna like it. I don't know if they will or not. I mean, they. I mean, I mean. You know, they they're they're dead. They don't really know the difference. <gasps> hey, doggy. What you doing, boy? Take the, take them over there. Damn it all. Flags are still waving after all they've been through. How am I gonna do this? Do you need some help? the sword. Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? All right. That's fine. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion. You really don't want. I'm in for the reunion alone. Kill him, Brad. I cut the bastard down. All right. You know what? That's fine. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. That's a uh, pretty big weapon there, dude. And you miss, you know, it's gonna take you a second to uh, regain it. I'm gonna try and get it on. Him. I can't even hit the dude. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I think you're meant to lose this. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now... For the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. I just did it now. Well, I'm just a comic. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Uh, wait, that's, that's okay. The games are over. Open, I can get that sword back.
retarded with it. Deep Silver presents. Horror Studios production. Riding back to um, Talmberg. That's what it's looking like. You know, the path on the way to Talmberg was pretty destroyed. This was the one place that wasn't destroyed. So I guess they knew that I'd escaped. And they just came after me. Sections of it look sort of like Townburg. That was a heck of a long opening. Nowhere near five hours. Oh, no. Whoa. This is, um... What is this? This is like a... Is this what I'm dreaming right now? That's what it looks like. Dude, this is intense. I like it, though. Wait, where are they? Fast travel point? Really? I did? No, oh, but how can I fast travel in a dream? Do you need some help? Oh, this dude again. And that. This is freaky. Henry. And to rewatch it all over again. Okay, I didn't know if they were about to just try the it was all a dream approach, but like we wake up and we find out that it wasn't actually just a dream. Wait, Henry, are they? Henry, get up, Henry, wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Oh, okay, no, that's Teresa. Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Okay.
Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Ratay. I didn't know where else to go. What okay, happened? so that wasn't a uh, You don't Tom remember Bird. anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. Burying Slaughtered my everyone who didn't run. Couldn't feel good with that on my conscience. I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. She's a Christian. That, that kind of surprises me, actually. Like, after the description we were given of her. The beginning of the game. In Talmberg. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was <laughs> worse. But at least the fever's broken. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Um, I want to say how did you find me, but that's... Yeah, let's do it. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Yeah, those guys were obviously uh, Tamburg uh, soldiers because of their armor and that one dude. What was his name? Uh, I can't even remember. It was like Ro Rob, Rob something. They were looking for me. Searching for me. Yes, Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell Robard. me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I owe him something. I don't know. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. So far, when it comes to the um, the eating and drinking system, the game has held our hand. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? But nothing else, really. I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. I'm lying around long enough. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased to have enough less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And Dang. for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been really lying two him. weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here with your uncle. Yeah. I owe you both She's my gonna life. be like, oh no, you don't. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Got it. Uh, dialogue. Have you eaten yet? Um, no, not, not yet. yet. Well, try to eat something. 
big lad like you needs his strength. Alright, I will leap from the pot. It's the only way I think I can eat. Apparently I could do it more. Wait, drop into pot. Cook item? I don't have anything to cook. So there is a cooking system. Let's see if she has any more dialogue, though. Fancy little walk. What are you up to? How would you like to, um... I don't know. Come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much. But I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. Okay. Dialogue. Alright. Hey, look out! <laughs> Folk these days. Close. So, I'm just gonna look in here. So that's. I'm not actually sure what that is, but I'm supposed to talk to Uncle. This dude. Right here. I'm Henry, thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo, and talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you, still owe him i see well it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch what do i owe i'm not afraid of hard work you won't pay for that shoveling manure i might have a better job for you and it's not something any fool can do if you prove to me you're a clever lad i might trust you with something you could really make money from what do you say um what would you need? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No oh. honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruple, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. All right, fine. Tell me about I'm it. for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring, my mate, Wojciech. Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. The trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the bible it's still a human body only it's missing a soul why be disgusted by something created by god <sighs> nah i'm gonna say no speech but you're still talking about a filthy deed i won't do it i value my honor higher than coin i gave you a chance to work off your debt don't think you can wriggle out of it i want my groschen back and quick Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Believe me. I can still talk to him about a job, too. What is this? Is it inside? Might very well be. It looks like it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Yes, it is inside. Let me go back in then. Um, my stuff. Okay, maps. This stuff. 
is from a DLC. You know what? It's easier to just take everything and put it all on. I could sell that for a lot. Oh my. Equip. Equip. Uh, I think I'll equip that. 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 Wait, did that then equip something? No. Um. That? What is it? Okay, so that's that. Okay. Old boots. Put that on. Anything else? That, maybe. Uh, I don't have anything for the hands other than the gloves. So what does all this stuff mean? Uh... Not sure. Neck chain. Arm armor. Body chain mail. Body plate. That's a lot. You can have a lot of armor. What does this do? That. So I'm not going to put that on. Scarf is for there. Yeah, okay. I've got everything on. Where'd she go? She up there? Doesn't look like it. Language and literature. All at once. But is she like in here or something? Chronicles. I keep learning things and I have no clue what they mean. I have no clue where she went. This dude though. Yeah, I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna take part in your uh I don't even know what to call it. Um, shard. <clears throat> Trying to use equipment that demands better abilities. You can find out exactly what the, in the inventory. By pressing Q. Agility 3. And my agility is 2. How do I increase my agility? Um, I'm not actually sure. I might just have to use a weapon a bunch. So, this actually isn't useful to me at the current second. Put that sword away. And I'm assuming this is the way to go. I don't want to end up like last time, though. This is a job for me. Okay, yeah, so I do have to wait, go way up here. From what it looks like, anyways. But, yeah, I'm going to stop this episode right here. So, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, I will see you all later.